This is Elisa Aesthetic Studios, and you're watching Strictly Business with Set the Bar. My name is Brashana Joyner. Um, my brand is Elisa Aesthetic Studios. I'm a almost four year esthetician. Ring the bell, four years. Woo Be four years in January. Um, my business is really wrapped around like beauty, positivity, and hustle. So, you know, hustling and get to where you need to go. Beauty, because I love the beauty industry and positivity, you know, just spreading, you know, good vibes, meeting new people, making sure to be kind, keep good connections. Um, I don't like people telling me what to do. And every time I get like would have a job i always end up doing what i want to do anyways um i always see myself making my own money for myself anyways i've always been like into just doing my own thing so once i got the chance and i had got fired i was like i'm not going back so how did you get fired uh, <laughs> i was uh, okay so i had just started and i was still like getting to you know the the gist of everything and i was still in training I was, I was in training for like three months and I was cussing on the line because I didn't know how to get, get the transfer call. So I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all keep sending me these fucking calls. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And then, um, yeah, like the next day I came into the office and they was like, oh, can we go? You got to go talk to her name was Carrie. And so, you don't when you go to Carrie's office, you know, you're getting fired. So I was like, ah, oh, shit, I know I'm getting fired. She was like, you know what you did? And I was like, no, I don't. And then she told me what I did, even though I knew what I did. <laughs> And yeah, you know, she fired me. I was like, okay, shit, I signed up for that unemployment, baby, and I never look back. I feel like sometimes it could be the people like I run into and like the like the overload as well, like the overload of work, but sometimes it could be the people I run into as well. Like it could be my biggest pet peeve of just like how they treat you because you have a small business, how they act towards you, some entitlement they may feel because you're a small business, you may not be like on the corner or on like, you know, a big street or anything. So those are like one of my <laughs> um the exposure and like the different things i've gotten to do to like put myself out there i recently like did a brunch and i had a good like time there i made some good connections i didn't really care much about like selling too much stuff it was just the fact that like i was in a different area for the first time and it wasn't like in my little solarium like i had a stand and everything and i got to bring like one of my machines and stuff i'm like got to talk a little bit about myself so i enjoyed that Dang, that's a good question. I try to not get discouraged sometimes because it's kind of hard, especially because like being an esthetician, like the beauty industry goes fast. And then on top of that, like you'll see like some people who probably been lashing for like a year or like just doing what you're doing for like a year and they got all these followers. But you just got to know what, what makes you different, you know, how to separate yourself from the competition. Sometimes y'all only doing one service the same and then you're so completely different from them. So it's just like making sure you know like what makes you different keep going in that route in your own path and like kind of just staying in there because it's kind of hard to not get discouraged i feel like oprah i don't know why that's so <laughs> like, i have to ask why oprah <laughs> because one of my clients is her niece and i really like want to get like i just want to do oprah's lashes real quick see if she like them yeah go for it just go and do it don't don't even think about it honestly it, it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of money but i mean yeah it's a lot of hard work but it's a lot of money but the, the thing about it like it's rewarding like probably the most rewarding thing i've done for myself is just like be fired and and not do another nine to five like <laughs>